Cedar Falls is a city in Black Hawk County, Iowa, United States. As of the 2020 census, the city population was 40,713. It is home to the University of Northern Iowa, a public university. Cedar Falls was first settled in March 1845 by brothers-in-law William Sturgis and Erasmus D. Adams. Initially, the city was named Sturgis Falls. The city was called Sturgis Falls until it was merged with Cedar City, creating Cedar Falls. The city's founders are honored each year with a week-long community-wide celebration named in their honor, the Sturgis Falls Celebration. Because of the availability of water power, Cedar Falls developed as a milling and industrial center prior to the Civil War. The establishment of the Civil War Soldiers' Orphans Home in Cedar Falls changed the direction in which the city developed when, following the war, it became the first building on the campus of the Iowa State Normal School. Cedar Falls is located at 42 degrees 31 24 and 92 degrees 26 45 W, Aith Non We Are Bahun. 52,333 degrees north 92. 44583 degrees W, 42. 52,333, minus 92. 44,583. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 29. 61 square miles, of which 28. 75 square miles is land and 0. 86 square miles is water. Natural forest, prairie and wetland areas are found within the city limits of the Hartman Reserve Nature Center. The population of Cedar Falls, Iowa from U.S. Census data Cedar Falls is part of the Waterloo-Cedar Falls metropolitan area. As of the census of 2010, there were 39,260 people, 14,608 households, and 8,091 families living in the city. The population density was 1,365. Six inhabitants per square mile. There were 15,477 housing units at an average density of 538. Three per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 93. 4% white, 2. 1% African American, 0. 2% Native American, 2. 3% Asian, 0. 5% from other races, and 1. 7% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2. 0% of the population. There were 14,608 households, of which 24. 8% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 45. 5% were married couples living together, 7. 2% had a female householder with no husband present, 2. 7% had a male householder with no wife present, and 44. 6% were non-families. 28. 0% of all households were made up of individuals, and 10. 4% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2. 37 and the average family size was 2. 88. The median age in the city was 26. 8 years. 17. 3% of residents were under the age of 18, 29. 7% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 20. 5% were from 25 to 44, 20. 1% were from 45 to 64, and 12. 4% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 48. 1% male and 51. 9% female. As of the census of 2000, there were 36,145 people, 12,833 households, and 7,558 families living in the city. The population density was 1,277. 2 people per square mile. There were 13,271 housing units at an average density of 468. 9 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 95. 14% white, 1. 57% black or African American, 0. 15% Native American, 1. 61% Asian, 0. 02% Pacific Islander, 0. 41% from other races, and 1. 09% from two or more races. 1. 08% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. There were 12,833 households, out of which 26. 9% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 48. 9% were married couples living together, 7. 5% had a female householder with no husband present, and 41. 1% were non-families, 25. 
5% of all households were made up of individuals, and 9.4% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.45 and the average family size was 2.91. Age spread, 18. 0% under the age of 18, 30. 6% from 18 to 24, 20. 5% from 25 to 44, 19. 0% from 45 to 64, and 11. 9% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 26 years. For every 100 females, there were 88. 5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 85. 7 males. The median income for a household in the city was $70,226, and the median income for a family was $85,158. Males had a median income of $60,235 versus $50,312 for females. The per capita income for the city was $27,140. About 5.6% of families and 4.7% of the population were below the poverty line, including 8. 5% of those under age 18, and 6. 1% of those age 65 or over. In 1986, the City of Cedar Falls established the Cedar Falls Art and Culture Board, which oversees the operation of the city's cultural division and the James and Merrill Hearst Center for the Arts. The Cedar Falls Public Library is housed in the Adele Whitenake Davis Building located at 524 Main Street. The 47,000-square-foot structure, designed by Structure Architects, Replace the Carnage Dayton Building in early 2004. As of the 2016 fiscal year, the library's holdings included approximately 8,000 audio materials, 12,000 video materials, and 104,000 books and periodicals for a grand total of approximately 124,000 items. Patrons made 245,000 visits which took advantage of circulation services, adult, teen, and youth programming. Circulation of library materials for fiscal year 2016 was 543,134. The library also provides public access to more than 30 public computers which provide internet access, office software suites, high-resolution color printing, Wi-Fi, and various games. The mission of the Cedar Falls Public Library is to promote literacy and provide open access to resources which facilitate lifelong learning. The library is a member of the Cedar Valley Library Consortium. Cedar Falls Public Library shares an integrated library system with the Waterloo Public Library. Library management is provided by Kelly Stern, director of the Cedar Falls Public Library. The Cedar Falls Historical Society has its offices in the Victorian Home and Carriage House Museum. It preserves Cedar Falls history through its five museums, collection, archives, and public programs. Besides the Victorian House, the Society operates the Cedar Falls Ice House, Little Red Schoolhouse, and Barron's Rap Station. Lang Hall at University of Northern Iowa Searley Hall at University of Northern Iowa It hosts one of three public universities in Iowa, University of Northern Iowa. Cedar Falls Community Schools, which covers most of the city limits, include Cedar Falls High School, two junior high schools, seven elementary schools. Waterloo Community School District covers a small section of Cedar Falls. There is a private Christian school, Valley Lutheran High School. Additionally there is a private Catholic elementary school at Street. Patrick Catholic Church, under the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Dubuque. A significant renovation occurred beginning in May 2014. The Malcolm Price Lab School slash Northern University High School, was a state-funded K-12 school run by the university. It closed in 2012 following cuts at UNI. The city owns its power, gas and water, and cable TV service. Because of this, Cedar Falls Utilities provides gigabit speeds to residents. This became available on January 14, 2015. Cedar Falls has the power to do so because, unlike 19 other states, Iowa does not prohibit municipal broadband from competing with the private cable TV monopoly. In 2020, Cedar Falls Utilities was recognized by PC Magazine as having the nation's fastest internet, by a factor of three. The underground music scene in the Cedar Falls area from 1977 to present day is well documented. The Wartburg College Art Gallery in Waverly, Iowa hosted a collaborative history of the bands, record labels, and music venues involved in the Cedar Falls music scene which ran from March 17 to April 14, 2007. This effort has been continued as a wiki-style website called The Secret History of the Cedar Valley. Thanks for watching.